hey beautiful people as promised in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make this bikini from scratch so if that sounds good to you then keep watching if you want to change the playback speed of this video then take the following steps in my last video, I showed you how to draft a pattern for this bikini that we're going to be sewing today. So if you haven't already seen that video, then go check it out to go make your pattern, come back to this one. But if you've already watched that video and made your pattern, what I'm doing here is that I'm making a few adjustments because I want it to be a little bit more sexy. The first pattern that we drafted was really just a basic block. I am using my ruler to just draw a line about two inches from the bottom and top of this pattern and then at the top of the bikini bottom pattern I'm using my French curve and just drawing a curved line to give this bikini bottom even more shape now what I'm doing is that I'm reducing the sides by about two inches and that's okay to do as well because like I said, spandex stretches a lot. This is what it's supposed to look like for you. And something else that I wanna do is to actually add some allowance around the sides. So even though there's already allowance on this, because I sized it down, I actually have to add allowance to match the newly existing sides. So I'm just putting a half inch allowance there and drawing a line to connect. Now I'm just cutting the excess pieces off of my pattern. If you want to make your bikini bottom even skimpier, then you can go ahead and cut off even more, but just make sure that you maintain the original bikini shape. Now it's time to pin your pattern to some fabric and cut the following pieces. You're gonna need two short bra straps. You're gonna need one long bra strap. Here I have two pieces because I didn't have a long enough piece of spandex for that. So what I'm gonna do is just connect those two pieces together and I'll show you how to do that later on in the video. You also need to have four triangle pieces two front pieces and two back pieces as well i realized that the front of my bikini bottom was way too broad so i decided to make some more adjustments on this pattern i'm using my french curve here to just make a deeper curve and i'm cutting off the excess paper what I had to do here was to actually pin the spandex together just to stabilize it because spandex can be very slippery with that it was a lot easier for me to pin my pattern to the existing front bikini bottom piece and I'm gonna cut away this excess fabric here it turned out like this for me and now we have two nice front bikini bottom pieces that look a lot better so let's get started with the bikini top. If you were like me and you had to cut multiple pieces for your long bikini strap, take both of those pieces and align them at a right angle with each other. And you're gonna stitch a diagonal line just like that. By the way, I'm using a size 12 needle here. And that's the best needle to use when you're stitching stretch fabrics with an industrial sewing machine. Cut away the excess fabric and voila, we have one long piece of fabric. So the next thing we're gonna do is to actually fold these strap pieces and we're gonna stitch along about a quarter of an inch to half inch away from the very edge 
just like this and make sure that you stretch your fabric while you stitch so that way you can stretch it when you turn it out and you won't have any threads popping here I'm using my safety pin to latch on to the end of these short straps and I am just feeding the safety pin through the tunnel to turn the strap inside out I'm using this piece of wire that came from a hanger and I'm turning out the longer piece. I'm choosing to do this because I find that the safety pin method can be quite problematic when you're doing long straps. Now you want to pin each strap to the very top of the triangle. And then you're gonna stitch the straps into place. It's gonna be just like this and you're gonna take the other triangle piece, put it on top of the existing triangle piece and pin where the strap is again. Place pins all around your triangle. So that's gonna be at the bottom to begin. And as you can see, I moved the strap away to the side and that's because we're actually going to be leaving a channel right there for the strap and I'm pinning along the sides of the triangle as well and I'm also going to be doing that for the second triangle. Stitch the top of the triangle with a half inch seam allowance, stitch the bottom of the triangle with a quarter inch seam allowance and stitch the sides of the triangle with a half inch seam allowance. When you're stitching down the sides of your triangle, make sure that you don't stitch the bikini strap. Make sure that instead you're stitching along the very edge of the bikini strap. And when you get down closer to the strap, back stitch right there and leave a space. And we're gonna do that again. Make sure that you always start from the top. Stretch the spandex fabric gently while you stitch like you see me doing here and be sure to leave a space for the bikini strap that will go into the bikini top right there. Do that for both pieces and cut away the excess at the top and you can also cut away the excess from the sides but when you get down to where the strap will be you can angle off instead of cutting straight down. And you're gonna pull the bikini strap through the hole that it's hanging through. If you actually end up stitching your bikini strap instead of along the edge, then you will end up with a top that looks like this one that I have right here. I actually had to turn it back inside out to correct it. So the way that I did that was to pretty much just push the top back through the hole that it came through. Remove the stitches that were on top of the strap and I proceeded to stitch along the edge instead of on top of the strap. So what I'm doing here is to just push out the excess that was hanging from the spaces where I left for the straps and I am just trimming that away and you want to do this so that you can create as much space as possible for yourself when we put this long strap through the bottom of the bikini. Now I'm placing some pins into the bottom of my bikini just to make sure that I have the seam in alignment and I stitched along there with an allowance that was just a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. I'm pushing the tip of my scissors into the spaces just to make sure that it's open and if it's not open then I use the tip of my scissors to just clip a little hole into there. What we're going to do is pass the long strap through there. So I'm using my pole and I just pushed it about half of an inch into my long strap and I use that to feed the strap through the bottom of my bikini. 
it's gonna look just like this and if yours is looking like this then give this video a thumbs up but it's time to move on to the bottom of the bikini put the back and front pieces right sides together at the crotch and pin Do the same thing for the sides of the bikini and when we're done with that we're actually going to be stitching with a half inch allowance everywhere that we pinned. So that's going to be along here, here, here and here. With that done, we can remove the pins and we're gonna turn one of the pieces inside out and we're gonna align the side seams. Make sure that you open out the seam like I'm doing here, put them together and pin them into place. So you're gonna do that for both of the side seams and you're also gonna do that for the crotch of the underwear. By the way, you can use this tutorial if you just want to make yourself some panties. It doesn't even have to be for a whole bikini. Now with that being done, you can actually pin your bikini pieces together. So you're going to pin around the waistline and you're also going to pin around the thighs. So this is going to be a lot of pins. But we're doing this so that we can hold the two pieces together to make it one. So now you're going to stitch along the very edge of everywhere that you pinned to make these two pieces into one just like this and here i'm cutting away all the excess overlapping fabrics with the side seam and crotch seam of the legs of this underwear i'm measuring a piece of quarter inch elastic that's just about two inches shorter than this space and I'm cutting two pieces since there are two leg holes. I'm going to overlap and stitch. Now let's move on to the waist. So I folded so that the two side seams would be touching. I'm cutting another quarter inch piece of elastic that is about two inches shorter than this space again. With the waistline still folded and the side seams still touching, I am putting a notch at the front and back of the bikini bottom and I'm aligning the seam of the elastic with the back notch and I'm matching up the opposite end of that elastic with the front notch and pinning that into place. Here I'm folding the leg hole elastics into half putting one side of the elastic on the side seam and the other side on the crotch, then doing the same thing on the other leg hole. Once that's done, the key is to actually stitch the elastic onto the very edges of the bikini bottom and we're gonna stretch as we go along. So the elastic is going to be a tad bit shorter than the actual leg hole as well as the waistbands but you're going to stitch along and you're going to do that for each hole. Make sure that you stretch while you stitch and as you can see here once I am done stitching my elastic to the edge of the bikini bottom I fold the elastic inwards to pretty much cover it and I stitch along the edge of the elastic it will look like this and your leg holes and waistband should be stretching because you should have been stretching while you stitched but this is the result of my bikini and i want to see you guys' bikinis so follow me on instagram at quaint boss and feel free to send me pics comment any questions or concerns that you have below if this video was helpful give it a thumbs up subscribe to the quaint pursuit for more and check out my playlists and videos. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.